guys it's naya welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome for today's video i have for you guys a walmart haul yes y'all i sadly spent some more money but listen the more money i spend the more hauls i have for you guys so y'all can't be too mad at me right but before we get into this video make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss whenever i upload a new video and without further ado let's just get into the video okay so for this haul i am going to first start off with like body care and hygiene products because that's what i feel like i got the most of so to start it off i first got this palmer's cocoa butter lotion i feel like this is like a staple lotion in the black community like either your mom uses or your grandma uses and at some point you use it too and so this is just like one of those things that i like to keep in my collection so i ran out of it and i just decided to pick up a new one while i was there so yeah i got some cocoa butter next up i got this dove pampering shea butter and warm vanilla body wash y'all know i love dove body washes i've said it like a million times already and this one smells like exactly what it says it smells like shea butter and warm vanilla um i've had this in a really big size before but because i have like so many body washes that i'm alternating between right now i just got it in like the regular size so yeah i just got it because i ran out of it and i'll just have it whenever i run out of the one that i'm using right now so the next thing that i got is yet another body wash this one is the ogx smoothing coconut coffee body scrub and wash now this one i have wanted it for a really really long time and i just never got it like I've been wanting this for over six months now and I would go in the store and smell it every single time that I saw it but I just never bought it and so I just went ahead and got it that last time I was in there because I just couldn't resist it like y'all this smells absolutely amazing and it makes it even better because this is actually sulfate free now I know we typically pay attention to that when it comes to like shampoo and stuff but as y'all know OGX is also a hair care line so I thought that it was really cool that their body wash is also so fake free and it just it just smells amazing like it smells like a really really good frappuccino if I could drink this I most definitely would next from walmart i got another tree hut scrub this one is in the scent coconut and lime and really at this point i might as well just be building a collection y'all because i'm telling you like i just i can't stop buying them um with this the lime scent isn't that apparent you can definitely smell the coconut but together it does smell really nice um i will say that it isn't my absolute favorite scent but i do like it and i'm just glad to have this in my collection now so yes i got this the next item that i got from wally world is just a new pack of dove sensitive bar soap i talked about this in my hygiene haul so if you haven't checked that out definitely make sure to do so i will link it up here in the cards but this is just one of my favorite bar soap and i love it so much so i just like to keep it stocked up so i just had to pick up a new pack next i got this dove exfoliating body polish this is in the scent pomegranate seeds and shea butter it smells so amazing and i love the body polishes for the days i want to exfoliate and i just want something more on the gentle side so i just like to keep one of these in my bathroom at all times the next thing that i got from walmart is this malibu hemp coconut body moisturizer um i had never seen this product in walmart before but i went on the aisle just smelling the lotions as i do and i came across this one and it is really good like not only does it smell amazing but it also moisturizes your body really well and i actually really like this lotion so glad that i discovered it and it says right here on the bottle that you are going to love it and i can definitely agree with them on that because i definitely love this lotion so the lotion was like really the last body care item 
but i guess this kind of goes along with the body care because it is just like a foot scrub it says goodbye calluses and i got this to have just like in between pedicures because y'all know it's summertime now and i have been going to get pedicures but like sometimes you just need something in between pedicures and, and i just wanted one of these so i could have at home for just kind of like upkeep because i want my feet soft and smooth at all times not just like right after a pedicure so i got this good by calluses foot scrub and as you can see i got it in like this really cute mint green color so hopefully it works good enough to do something i'll definitely let y'all know how it works okay so i said that was the last body care item but i lied because i also got a palmer's cocoa butter moisturizing body oil and i just got this because i don't have many body oils and i want to start incorporating more oils into my body care routine so I just got this as like one of my first ones and yeah, I'll see how it works. Next up, I'll move on to like skincare because I got quite a few skincare items. So first off, I got some cotton rounds because I just like to keep these for like skincare and stuff and I just always seem to run out of them. So I got two packs, so hopefully they'll last me a decent amount of time. Next up, I got this CeraVe Foaming Facial Wash. It says it's for a normal to oily skin and it cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier. And I just got this because I want to try some new skincare items and, and I heard that CeraVe has really good skincare items. So I got this cleanser just to try out. And to go along with it, I got the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It says it's for normal to dry skin. It says it's also to moisturize and to help restore the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. It also claims to be lightweight. So I just got these to try out and I will let you guys know how I like them. Oh, I almost forgot that I got another CeraVe cleanser as well. This one is the Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser for normal skin. It gently cleanses and exfoliates while softening and smoothing the skin. And I got this one because I have oily skin and I know that salicylic acid is good for oily skin. So yeah, I picked this cleanser up because I feel like it'll cater to more of my needs being that I have oily acne prone skin. And that is all I really got for skincare products. So now let's move along into hair care. And I got quite a bit of hair care products. So we're just going to go ahead and get into that. So the very first hair care item I have to show you guys is this Con Air Paddle Brush. I got it because it just has this really pretty metallic part right here. And there it says Con Air right there. Um, I typically use this type of brush when I have straight hair and when I got it my hair was straight so I really need this brush at the time. Hence to why most of this hair care stuff will not be in the packaging that it originally came in. Reason being is because I ripped it right open when I got it because I really needed it. So yeah I got this really big paddle brush. I use it to wrap my hair. While we're on the topic of straight hair and wrapping my straight hair I also got this wrap cap and it just came with two i'm not really sure why but i'm glad to have an extra one like i said my hair was straight and i needed this for my straight hair so i got two of them next up i got a new spray bottle y'all because my purple one unfortunately broke on me well really i broke it but it shouldn't have been that easy to break like i just dropped it like once and it broke so i ended up having to get a new one and they did not have the purple color so i got this black one and the bottom part is way bigger than my other one but i'm not complaining because i don't have to refill it as often but as you guys can see i'm kind of like going with the theme with my hair tools which is that they are all black as you can see so yeah i kind of tried to follow like a little color theme here next up i got a soft bristle brush once again it is black and it is from hunt air it actually had the brand name going down the handle but um i guess with me using it just these past few days it rubbed off but like i said i no longer had the packaging because i needed to use it right away but i did get this soft bristle brush i actually have one just like this but i just went ahead and got another one because everybody in my house uses 
it so it's just like beneficial for us to have two and i really like soft bristle brushes like this because i don't use hard bristle brushes on my hair so brushes like these always come in handy so i just got another one the next thing i got was you guessed it another hair tool and i just got a pick because i have been natural for a really really long time and surprisingly in my natural hair journey i've never had a pick and i just feel like a pick is a staple as a natural and i've never had one so i pick one up because i really want one like it's like one of those things where you don't feel official until you have one so i had to get one when i saw it in the store this time around so now that we've gone through like hair tools we can now get into hair products and i got quite a few because like i mentioned in my last video there is a hair video that i plan on filming here on my channel that will require me to have some new products so the first product that i got is this main choice tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture rinse out or leave-in conditioner it says that it helps to support natural growth and retention and i heard really good things about this leave-in especially for low porosity hair so i'm super excited to try this also this is another one of those products that smells amazing so i cannot wait to put this in my hair the next product that i got is is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Curling Buttercream. Now, although this says it's for kids, I'm pretty sure it will work fine on my hair. And also, it was on sale, marked down, cheaper than its regular price. So, I just picked this up because I love, like, Shea Moisture's creams and butters. The next thing that I got is just some, it's just some clear plastic caps because these are great for deep conditioning your hair and I seem to go through them very very quickly so I just picked up a new pack while I was there the next product that I got from Wally World is this Miss Jessie's leave-in condition it says it's the best door leave leave-in conditioner period and we are going to be putting this to a test I may use this in my hair video I may not honestly I got a lot to choose from so we'll see what we end up using but I am super excited to try this from Miss Jessie Curls as well, I got the Jelly Soft Curls. This is more on the expensive side, but I do love this for my hair and I was running low, so I decided to pick up a new one in Walmart. It says it's made for popping curls without the crunch, and I can say that this is definitely true about this product. And this product right here smells like baby powder. It's like baby powder in gel form, so I love this product right here. Another thing that I got from the Man Choice is their the alpha natural growth and retention multivitamin scalp growth oil i've never tried a oil from main choice but i'm super excited to try this one i also love the way this smells as well it smells like tropical candy and i cannot wait to have this in my hair it says that it's lightweight non-greasy leaves the scalp feeling revitalized and conditioned and it's gentle enough for daily use i love like massaging oils on my scalp especially like when i first do a wash and go and also throughout the week so i will definitely be using this on my scalp very very soon the very last hair care item that i have is this cantu shea butter maximum hold strengthening styling gel with jamaican black castor oil i got this because i've been on the lookout for a new styling gel i hate to say it but i'm sick of miss eco styler like she has ran her course and she has done good but i am tired of her and it's time for her to retire so i've been on the lookout for a lightweight gel to replace it and i'm going to try this and see how it does now i'm not really a fan of most of Cantu's natural hair products however this is a gel so it is a little bit different and i'm excited to see how it works and i'm excited to see if Cantu can redeem themselves for me and maybe this will be like one of the only Cantu products that i actually like we'll just have to see but i'm definitely excited to try their gel okay so that is all the hair care products that i have now i'll go into like makeup i didn't get much but i will show you the few items that i do have first off i got this blistex medicated lip ointment this is the value pack and i only got this because i didn't see the regular pack but um it is their medicated lip ointment and it says clinically shown to heal dry and chapped lips i got this because i really love their their ointment that's in like the the container and why I do love that product it is kind of inconvenient when I'm out and about and need something to put on my lips to have to dig in there because it's just like kind of unsanitary and we are in a panoramic 
So I just got this because it's in squeeze form and so I'm hoping that it works just the same. I'm hoping that I love it just the same. So yeah. On the topic of chapstick, I got some Burt's Bees chapstick. Burt's Bees has my absolute favorite chapstick. It's the best one that I've ever tried. But I've only tried their original one and like the peppermint one. And I've also tried the vanilla bean as well. So I just picked up this value pack. And in it, it has the beeswax lip balm. It has strawberry, coconut, and pear. And also the vanilla bean one. If I don't like the two new ones then i will have the other two that i tried already and so that's just like an easy way for me to try some of their new flavors so yeah i got this next up i just got a brow pencil and this is the l'oreal brow stylist definer in the shade brunette this is my absolute favorite eyebrow pencil but recently i have not really been able to find this color and it's the one that i like to use the most and at first i was starting to get really worried because i thought it would discontinue and like i said it's my favorite one but I kept looking and looking and eventually I did see this color back on the shelves and so when I did see it I just made sure to stock up so I got three of them and every time I see them from here on out I'm just going to pick some up because I don't want to run out of these so L'Oreal, y'all need to get your stuff together because I do not want my favorite brow pencil discontinued. The next thing that I got was this Wet n Wild Large Eyeshadow Brush. This is just like a little dome shaped brush. It's one of my favorite blending brushes for eyeshadow. And I have one of these already, but the one I currently have is pretty old. So I just decided to pick up a new one when I was in Walmart. So yeah we are almost done guys we just have a few more items and the next items that i have i would say they're more like hygiene products and the first one would be this listerine ultra clean mouthwash it is in the flavor arctic mint this is my favorite listerine mouthwash flavor and i just picked up a new one because i don't really like to run out of stuff like this i'd much rather buy a whole bunch of them and then just have them stocked up so that once i run out i can just grab another Another one and be good to go so I just like to get them before I run out as opposed to just running out and then having to go buy more afterwards so I got mouthwash and I also got some toothpaste this is the Crest Clean Mint Pro Hill toothpaste it says it fights cavities, sensitivity, plaque, blah, blah, blah. It's just toothpaste. Y'all get the point. The next thing that I got is this Dr. Teal's Aluminum Free Deodorant. Um, It is in the scent Rose Milk. And the reason that I got this is because of the scent. This Rose Milk smells very similar to their Calm and Serenity Epsom Salt. And I also had that scent in their Bubble Bath as well. And it smells really good. And I just saw their deodorant and I picked it up because this scent smells very similar to that and I just got it to try also I got two of them the next thing that I picked up was some Dow hand soap this is in the scent coconut water and mango um, it smells really good I also love their marula oil hand soap those two scents are just my go-to and I just got some of this to keep in my bathroom this next thing that I got is just some rubbing alcohol since we've been in the pandemic this has kind of been hard to come by so now whenever we're in the store and I see it I just make it a point to pick some up the next thing that i got is some tweezers um i meant to show this when i showed the makeup but i misplaced my pair of tweezers so i just got some new ones when i went to walmart and obviously i don't have the packaging because i had to use them today to put my lashes on so yes it's just a pretty silver pair of tweezers and they are by revlon for the camera won't focus on it the next thing that i got is just some pads these are the always radiant teen pads and i really like these for my lighter days even though they say leak free i like to have these on the days where i'm closer to coming off of my period i also like them because they're very soft and that is because they have flex foam in them so the next thing that I got from Walmart is just some contact lens re-wetting drops. They're just the Equate brand. Um, something that y'all don't know about me is that I wear glasses and obviously I also have contacts. So this is just really good to have and keep in my purse whenever I'm out and about. And my contacts get dry. This is just really convenient to just put in my eye. And it's also really small so it doesn't take up that much space in my purse. The next thing that I got from Walmart is this Febreze Unstoppable 
unstoppable air freshening spray it is in the scent fresh and i like this because it smells like fresh linen i just like to keep this to spray in my room and also in my bathroom it just makes the room smell really nice and fresh last but not least i got this tumbler from walmart and i know what you're thinking like girl you just got two new cups recently but look at it like you can't tell me that if you saw this in walmart you wouldn't buy it as well it's just so beautiful so i had to have it i promise i won't get any more tumblers or cups anytime soon but just like look at this please like i had to have it okay well guys that is it for today's video that's all i have for you guys if you've made it this far into the video make sure you like comment and subscribe before you leave also make sure to turn on your post notifications and follow me on all my other social media platforms that are in the description box down below thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i hope to see you all in my next video bye guys